Well, some might say they have bigger fish to fry in Sacramento, but today lawmakers approved a no cuss week. Andrew Luria on the teenager who brought Republicans and Democrats together to fight four letter words. You better watch what the heck you say. Dag nabbit. <laughs> like, oh, tartar sauce. <laughs> Anything worse, and you'll pay. If you darn well please. You know, no one's going to come into your home and arrest you if you don't uh, follow the rules. We're not involving the FBI or the CIA in the enforcement. It's totally on the honor system. Come Monday, California will initiate its first no cussing week, becoming the first state to clean up its act, thanks to a measure passed today in the assembly. Still today, I don't cuss around my mom, so maybe it is a good deal. McKay Hatch is the 16 year old helping bleep out the potty mouths of California. His no cussing club has 35,000 members online. I mean, when I first started this club, you know, I never thought I was going to I was going to be able to take it to this level. And it's gotten this far, and I've never been to the Capitol, and it's been really cool. Assemblyman Anthony Portentino and Cameron Smythe delivered swear jars around the Capitol. The first drop off to the governor, the author of a letter four months ago with an acronym that, intentional or not, could have landed big bucks. We are all uh, have been elected, and, you know, for the most part, can, uh, should be able to get our message across uh, without using four-letter words. And so the question is posed. Starting with the first annual No Cuss Challenge next week, can Californians keep their mouths and their jars as clean as their sunny beaches? And the other question, why this is even an issue at all? Why isn't there this kind of movement and bipartisanship with the budget, which in its own right has been cursed in more ways than one time and time again? In Sacramento, Andrew Luria, CBS 5.